Thank you. Thanks a lot. This um, this next song is uh, is like an older song, and uh, it's really interesting because I whenever I say, whenever I talk about things being older or like our music being older, for whatever reason, burned into my memory forever, is not that. <laughs> whatever you bellowed, I don't I don't know, but I don't think it was applicable to this situation. Um, <laughs> but maybe applicable to your life. Um, anyways, um, I'm just gonna keep talking through the bellowing because I'm not sure it, I'm not They're sure. asking for songs. Sarah can't hear because she has in-ears in, yeah. so. I can only hear, she acts like, um, like um, you know, when you're, you get older and you don't want to admit that you're losing your hearing, and so that's part of the reason why you get really grumpy, and people are all like, blah, 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 and you're like, what, can't hear you, you're mumbling. <laughs> But we're not. We're not mumbling. You need a hearing aid. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird because I, I would be able to distinguish if you were saying help or fire, though. Like, I can totally hear you if you say help or fire. Um, I heard that. But don't be the person, don't be the audience member that cried wolf, okay? Because what if you really need help? Or there is a fire. Um, okay, seriously, so this, what were you saying? So the thing that's burned into my memory forever is a show that me and Tegan played. It was one of our first professional shows. Um, we were just out of high school and we played at the university and there was about maybe like 10 or 15 people mostly related to us or at least related to someone who my mom was dating at the time. And, um, and then sort of like just people hanging out, like just people that we didn't know. But there was this one table of guys, like kind of like bros, you know, like guys who work out and just want to make a good living and move up in the world and have a nice car and stuff, like those kind of guys. And they were drinking beer and at the end of the show, they came up to us and they were talking to us. And I remember distinctly one of the guys saying, how old are you? And I said, I'm 18. And he said, what do you know about love? And I was like, what does that mean? And he was like, well, what do you mean? What do you know about love? Like all, all the songs that you played today were about love. What could you possibly know about love at 18 years old? And I was like, a lot, motherfucker. And, I mean, just because. As, as if you said that. I didn't say that, <laughs> but I thought I think so. No, I did say, I know a lot about love, you know, I mean, I do. I mean, I, know, I mean, but it's really funny because now um, when, I, when I say like, oh, this, this song is an old song, it, I especially believe my, like, like when I was 18 and 19 years old writing songs, I really did believe that whatever experience I was having was like more special than any other person's love experience <laughs> since the beginning of time. <laughs> and, and I'm like not ashamed to say it because it's true. And when you know something's true. She says it a lot. You do. Yeah, you just say it. But anyways, now when I think, I'm just teasing, everybody's, everybody's love is special, and I know that, and, um, but anyways, when I think about songs that I wrote when I was like 15 or 16 or 17 or 18, in some weird ways, they're kind of even more connected to like love and breakups than the stuff I write now, because now I'm trying to be cool. <laughs> like, back in the day, my song was just, was just, it was just like a normal song, it was like, it was like a song in a bathing suit, and like now my song is a song in a, in a jean jacket, you know, like it's like, so, there you go. What are, you, what are your songs in? What? What kind of clothes do your songs wear? Oh, I have always performed naked, really. Okay, so you asked for that one. This week or oh, last week, I don't really care about it anymore. 